Hi, I'm Rick Kaler. Thanks for joining me. Suppose you're ready to take your career up a step and you're exploring opportunities in various parts of the country. You may easily be misled by the money script that a higher salary equates to a higher standard of living. As last week's video pointed out, this isn't necessarily true. What can you do to expand and reframe this money script? Well, let me give you a few things to consider. Number one, if the salary isn't published, ask the money question right up front. Many candidates leave the inquiry into salary and benefits till the very last step when both they and the potential employer have invested a lot of time and perhaps a lot of money into the interview process. Asking earlier avoids this waste of time and allows you to do your research on the front end and avoid potentially passing up other opportunities. Second, get a clear picture of the lifestyle that the salary will buy. One of the best ways to do this is at bestplaces.net which offers a cost of living calculator to compare the relative locations and salaries that you're looking at. For example, if you live in uh, Rapid City, South Dakota, and uh, compare that with Redwood City, California, you're going to find out that living in Redwood City costs 259% more than Rapid City, South Dakota. That means you'll need to multiply the Rapid City salary by 3.59 to find the equivalent salary in Red Redwood City. The City Compare tab also allows you to compare specific categories. For example, healthcare is 10% more in Rapid City than in Redwood City, while housing in Redwood City costs over 8 times as much. You can also compare factors like crime rate, climate, air quality, and tax rates. Um, what I would suggest is that you pay particular attention to taxes, needing to pay both state and city income taxes, uh, for example, could make a huge difference in your cost of living. Third, investigate the surrounding areas that have a lower cost of living. Again, a 45 minute to one hour commute each way from uh, La Honda to Redwood City would result in a 37% decrease in the cost of living. So a salary of 140,000 would buy a lifestyle in La Honda equivalent to that provided by $222,000 in Redwood City. Next, examine your own beliefs about various areas. Look beyond salary amounts to your perceptions and assumptions about factors such as amenities, um, city versus rural living, lifestyle, status, things like that. Then investigate the reality of all those factors, both their value to you and the probability that you could take advantage of them. So if a city offers profess professional sports, theater productions, and concerts, could you realistically afford the time and money to attend them regularly? It's uh, like one of my friends in New York City told me, he says, I never go to plays because I could go to them anytime. Would uh, available public transportation, is that going to fit your lifestyle and work schedule? I mean, um, if you have a car and insist on driving er everywhere, having a great subway system or public transportation is not a real big plus to you. Number five, consider your short-term and long-term family circumstances is a big city lifestyle what you want as a young adult, but not for raising a family. Would a given location fit your spouse's needs as well as your own? There can be conflicts. Are your kids toddlers 
or are they about to leave home? Do you have aging parents that uh, might need help, uh, perhaps in a different city? <laughs> These are all good, good questions to, to ask yourself. Six, if you choose a job in an area with a high cost of living, consider ways to reduce your budget. The simpledollar.com, the simpledollar.com, has 40 great tips on how to save money on monthly expenses that you may find interesting. Finally, put all your research together and do your best to imagine year-round daily living in various locations. Envision yourself in the different routines and possibilities, whether they might include a daily two-hour commute, a city apartment, or a home in the woods with your very own snowblower. Look beyond the financial cost of living to the emotional benefits and costs of living in various places. The most important lifestyle factor is finding the place where you will feel most at home. Thanks for listening.